Top 10 Creepiest Libraries Libraries are valuable bastions of information, technology, and social resources. However, there are a number of that are home to a lot of exotic collections than your average mystery paperbacks or romance novels. And a few have histories a lot of spine chilling than you'd assume. Here are 10 libraries wherever you wouldn't need to pay the night. 10. The Capital of the Bahamas Library. The Capital of the Bahamas Library, the biggest and oldest within the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, options distinctive Arawak, indigenous peoples of South America and of the Caribbean, artifacts and a set of historic prints, colonial documents, and recent newspapers. There's conjointly a room and depository on the property. However the structure wasn't meant to serve the general public as a library in the least. The distinctive Polygon building was originally made by Joseph Evas in 1797 to function as a punitive workhouse, a jail. Trendy patrons consider books and materials from what were once little cells that housed prisoners over 200 years agone. The basement of the NPL is even called, the Dungeon. 9. Weapon of Mass Instruction. Imagine you're walking down the road, minding your own business, when, out of obscurity, associate degree armored tank, complete with a platform, glides down the avenue, ostensibly in your direction. That's specifically what creative person Raul Lemesov will within the streets of Argentina, solely his tank may be a mobile library he calls, a weapon of mass instruction, and its purpose is to spread books, not bullets. The tank is admittedly a changed 1970 Ford Falcon that holds up to 900 books at a time. A impulsive and community-oriented, Lemisov says the tank will generate abundant social smart as a structure that has the power of transporting books, giving books away, collection books, creating a multitude of people's heads, plan, for sure, however, one that has in all probability impressed quite an instant of worry once that ominous silhouette rounds the corner. 8. Conjuring Arts Center. The name, Conjuring Arts Analysis Center, may sound impassionate about it belongs in an exceedingly story a few fictional wizarding faculty, however, it's a true place, placed in midtown Manhattan. The dim, tightly packed library owns many books on stage magic, some chemical analysis before 1700. Additionally to the tomes, the library conjointly homes original equipment, vast items of mechanical stage machinery that after excited, fooled, and aghast audiences around the globe. The Conjury Arts Center is open by appointment solely, though, you'll be able to visit one or two of Native Magic retailers they've partnered with if you would like to ascertain out books. 7. University of Southern Kingdom of Denmark. The University of Southern Kingdom of Denmark is fairly run-of-the-mine once it involves literature, however during this case, it'd be higher to evaluate a book by its cowl. A minimum of three rare books, chemical analysis from the 16th and 17th centuries, were found to own giant concentrations of arsenic on their covers throughout associate degree X-ray method wide utilized to seek out the chemical composition of items of art, like paintings and pottery. Historic pigments containing the poison were usually utilized in the 19th century to create a well-liked color referred to as Paris green, that was used for everything from wallpaper to garments. During this case, it absolutely was applied as a chemical to guard the manuscripts from insects. Arsenic poisoning will cause ailments starting from nausea to cancer to death. Sadly, the toxicity of arsenic is permanent, that the books can continually be a hazard to human health. Their currently hold on in special protecting boxes and handling is discouraged. 6. New York Puppet Library. This one is perhaps fun to appear at throughout the day, however, you wouldn't need to be there because the sun sets, throwing long shadows across the weird assortment it homes. The Big Apple Puppet Library, placed in borough faculty, is home to nearly a hundred uncommon puppets, some monumental. Even if the puppets build their presence illustrious, several employees members, students, and even different libraries are aghast to find out of the puppet library's existence. Creating it even creepier is that the incontrovertible fact that puppets are hold on 20 feet off the bottom. Anyone desire to borrow one is needed to climb a ladder into the rafters, painted eyes looking at all the methods. 5. Thomas Fisher Rare Book Library. Monsters lurk within the pages of the books at the Thomas Fisher Rare Book Library. From dragons to basilisks to manticores, this library focuses on manuscripts regarding beasts of unknown origin. 
Even more odd are the vivid illustrations of weird and strange caryatids, like tribes of humans with dogs' heads, found within the library's 1559 edition of the Cosmographic. Additionally to works meaning to be semi-naturalist, there are celebrated fictional monsters here too, as well as associate degree 1882 copy of Frankenstein that boasts a canopy with a strikingly sinister, skinny, and tall version of Shelley's Man Monster, long before Hollywood got a hold of him. The repository has such a lot of samples of monster mental object that they even placed on associate degree exhibition in 2018, Diamond State Monstrous, to showcase their strange facility. 4. Alaska Resources Library and Data Services. Envision a library wherever many glass eyes, those of corpses, look down on you from the shelves. That's specifically what you'll realize at the Alaska Resources Library and Data Services. This establishment focuses on realia, animal skeletons, skulls, teeth, furs, and different art, just as a result of the corpses aren't human doesn't build them any less odd for a library setting. Arliss is that the solely illustrious library within the U.S. to own such uncommon holdings, and is patronized for the most part by academics and scientists World Health Organization incorporate the specimens into their lessons and lectures. Sometimes, though, the animals are loaned out for bizarre uses, the 2013 film The Frozen Ground borrowed many to use for the set style of a serial killer's basement. 3. Newberry Library. It feels like the start of a horror picture show, however, it isn't, along with an enormous assortment of non-secular texts, Chicago's Newberry Library is in possession of a 17th-century spell book, written by two Anon. Witches. The Book of Supernatural Charms, contains spells starting from cheating at dice to raising the dead, a number of that need uncommon ingredients like dead men's teeth. The library conjointly holds two different spooky volumes, The Commonplace Book, and Cases of Conscience Regarding Sorcery, the latter of that was written by Increase Mather, the Gentleman World Health Organization passed the sentencing at the Salem Witch Trials. Apparently, in 2017, the library sought after the public's help in translating the occult texts by putting them online, thus any consultants in Latin, witchcraft, or medieval English ought to undoubtedly take a peek. 2. Historical Medical Library. The Historical Medical Library, placed within the Faculty of Physicians of Metropolis, was the city's central medical library from its institution in 1788 to over a century and a 0.5 later. With over 400 editions written before 1501, this can be one amongst the foremost vital collections of historical medical data within the U.S. Books and illustrations abound particularization a number of the foremost agonizing medical procedures ever visualized by man, from blood letting to trepanning, holes trained into the skull. Vital data, definitely. Simple to stomach? No. 1. Patti Library, Penn State. It feels like the foremost lurid quite fiction, a gorgeous missy, killed in cold blood the day when Thanksgiving, her liquidator ne'er found. But it, sadly, happened in the real world. On November 28, 1969, 22-year-old Betsy Ruth Ardsma was savagely injured to death within the basement of the Patti Library. She was killed from behind, and no statutory offense passed off. Though, there are several suspected of the foul crime, from Ardsma's bow to murderer Ted Bundy, the motive remains unclear to the current day, and also the killer has ne'er been known. Whether or not or not you suspect in ghosts, you may still need to moot regarding hanging around those basement stacks alone, simply just in case Betsy's killer ever desires to return the scene of their crime. If you liked this video, please click on like and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to receive all new videos. Thanks for watching.